You do need a visa. Your best option is to purchase this online before you travel rather than stand in a queue at Istanbul Airport. There is only one website that you should purchase this from and that is the official Turkish government website www.evisa.gov.tr Have a great trip. Hello there, my name is uh, David. Um, most people coming from the UK to Tavakla village will fly to Ataturk International Airport in Istanbul. The most challenging part of getting to, uh, to Tavakla is working out your travel arrangements once you've arrived. Now for those coming to uh, Istanbul and brave enough to face the Istanbul traffic, well then a hire car is perhaps the easiest method. And we found that the uh, best hire car company to be that of RentGo, which has an office in the main terminal building. Now Chanakale is around about a five hour drive from Istanbul. And once you get out of the uh, city onto the main highway, it's a fairly easy journey with good roads which take you through the towns of Tekirda, uh, Gallipoli and Ejibat. And finally a short ferry crossing over the Dardanelles to the city of Chanakale. Now from Chanakali, the new dual carriageway will take you to Ezine, the final town before your last 22 kilometer journey to the village. The total travel time from Chanakali to Tavakla is just over an hour. Alternatively, if you don't want to drive in Turkey, then a coach trip is perhaps your best option. Travel from the airport to the main bus terminal or autogar by taxi or by using the metro service. A coach journey from Istanbul to Chanakli or Ezine costs around about £15. The coaches are clean, comfortable and well maintained and they do make regular stops along the way. Total journey time? You're looking at around about 7 hours. Now we highly recommend the Troas Beach Hotel right on the uh, Tavakala Coast Road unless of course you're staying with friends or relatives in the village. So we hope to you have a great time and we hope to see you in the Tavakla village, so bye for now. Tavakla village is 200 meters above sea level. We have four olive oil factories in the village and the oil from this region is recognized for its superior quality. The village also benefits from cattle, sheep and goat farming. The scenes you are seeing here are from Tavakla Iskelesi down on the coast road. Most tourists in Tavakla are from Istanbul but we do get visitors from all over the world. Shown here you can see the Troas Beach Hotel, a good place to chill out and relax. You can hire the beach lounges even if you're not staying here, they have a great bar too. In April and May the fields around Tavakla are lush and green and full of wild flowers and new crops. Everything looks so beautiful. This is a good time of the year to visit if you don't like the hot weather. Neandra is the site where huge columns of granite were manufactured by hand and then never used. Perhaps they were meant for the nearby Alexandra Troas, who knows. Some say a huge earthquake caused people to leave the area. Alexandra Troas, 
an impressive historic site that sprawls on an estimated 1,000 acres with ancient structures that include a ruined bath, an Odeon, a theatre and a gymnasium complex. Once a city to rival that of Istanbul, it is now an extensive ruin that is only just being rediscovered by archaeologists. Gately gets pretty lively in the summer. It's one of the nicest beach resorts closest to Tamakla. This is a small town with a good selection of supermarkets and restaurants and with a large ferry pier from where cars and foot passengers can cross the water towards Jada. Bozjada, or to use its old Greek name Tenedos, is a large island, just a 20 minute ferry crossing from the mainland. You arrive in the town centre with its spectacular castle, marina and beautifully neatly paved streets. There are many restaurants and good coffee houses here and you get time to try and explore the rest of the island. Apollo Smynthian, located in the quiet village of Gulpinar on the bigger peninsula, are the ruins of the temple dedicated to Apollo, Lord of Mice, mentioned in Homer's Iliad. There is a small museum here filled with artefacts and stonework from the temple. Now we move on to Behramkale or Assos, located on the coast with its ancient town on the hillside and the Assos resort in the bay below. This is a popular tourist attraction with its boutique hotels and fine dining. Definitely worth a visit and just a relaxed 45 kilometers from Tamakla. Ezine is the nearest town to Tavakla and a popular destination on Mondays when it has a large market. You can find almost everything here and the town is famous for its cheese. From Ezine we travel down the dual carriageway to the ruins of the ancient city of Troy. The legendary wooden horse and the myths surrounding this once great city have been passed down through the generations. And finally we reach Chanakale, the key city of our province, well planned, well structured, with its sea promenade and ferry terminal. Chanakli has something for everyone and excellent restaurants, cafes, bars and great shopping. For those wanting to visit the war graves at Gallipoli, you can catch a ferry here and travel across the Dardanelles to Ejiabat. Welcome, or Hoshgeldiniz, as we say it in Turkish. My name is Duru, it's a Turkish name, which means the top of a mountain. Let me tell you about Tawakli village. Tawakli village is a small rural community nestling on a hill overlooking the sea under the backdrop of a Sakar mountain. It's approximately 22 kilometers from the town of Esine and around 70 kilometers from the city of Chanakka. This part of the Aegean is well known for its olive groves. The hilly region is also famous for its granite and the huge boulders and rocks that you will see by roadside make this rugged and rocky landscape all the more interesting. If you have never been to Turkey before, you will be surprised by the natural beauty of this part of the country. It is much cleaner than the Mediterranean and the climate is not so dry and hot as it's further east. The village is just 3 kilometers from a long sandy beach. We have the ruins of Alexandria Troas nearby and the historic excavations of Troy are just 53 kilometers away. There is a lot more to see if you're interested. You can see just how much history and natural beauty we have nearby by visiting www.turkishvillage.co.uk there are no high-rise apartments here, no traffic problems, the sea is crystal clear and the beaches are never crowded. Sounds great? It is. What we have here is special and different. This is the real Turkey. We hope it stays that way and I hope you have a chance to see Tawaklu village as well. 
Have a fantastic trip, or in Turkish we say, yield to the plan. Take care. Kendi dize iyi bakın.